Hello hello traders welcome back to another episode of the Traders Show This time we are lucky to be joined by another guest so like when we started the next season which is season 2 that we are currently shooting we promised you that we'll be bringing guests uh people who are doing different things in the space of entrepreneurship investing and personal finance and today we are lucky to be joined by a real entrepreneur so Caleb will do the introduction but for me I'll go fast into the markets we are going to be talking about cryptos nfts our guest today is a specialist in these fields computers technology she has a lot of experience in that and she'll be sharing a lot from that perspective but before we start let me look at what's happening in the markets so if we look at markets uh I think for today since we are going to be primarily focused on what's happening in the crypto nft scene let's start with looking at those markets Bitcoin trading at 44,000, 43,284 to be precise. Ripple trading at 0.81. Uh Solana trading at 99 the last time I checked. Or I'm currently checking 98.9 I mean. Filecoin coming back a bit to 22.44 Cardano 1.06. Dogecoin the one Elon Musk famously promotes trading at 0.147 and Ethereum trading at 3,600 3066 I mean. So that's my outlook that's my I think that's what is currently happening in the markets that what I'll say. I'll pass it on to Lawi to introduce himself and then he can kick off the show. Uh greetings greetings traders uh listeners. So my name is Taras Lawi. Uh if you're familiar with me or not. Uh it's another episode episode, episode 5 and I'm glad to be joined by Another guest we had another guest last week we are we also having another guest this week as Kenna said we promised to bring more diverse content to you guys the first episode the first season we majorly focused on forex trading and all the in depth of forex trading but now we are trying to expand the industry uh, and bringing industry experts into the scene so today we have an industry expert from uh, the crypto space the nft space most of the people are uh, so new into nfts just like how bitcoin was new in 2020 2010 2020 2010 11 12 13 14 right now very many people are what are what are nfts it's a whole uh, industry that will become a trillion dollar industry but most people are not understanding it so today we brought another uh, uh, industry expert to at least uh cuz she's been in the space she's made money from the space she's also lost money from the space so uh she'll give us the details of of basically what she does how you as a as a as an average investor or a starting investor you can get into the business also the risks you need to know about the business the the, the opportunities and all that so today is uh, going to be a very interesting uh, chat i'm here to learn just as most of you are here to learn because for me my specialty is on risk management and forex trading not so much into nfts so i'm also here to learn much about nfts and i hope you learn as well so uh, i hope this session uh, becomes uh, very productive for you all thank you Hey what's up guys so uh, I think the boys have done a good introduction saying who we have today so I won't repeat that I'll just do as usual I'm done who does the edification and tell you who our guest is to hype her up and you guys will get to see her and we'll have a good conversation going on so today's guest goes by the name Paula Wangai but most of you know her as Wangai in Jeru on Instagram she is a 22 year old full time crypto entrepreneur who has been able to turn a small fortune of $190 into over $30,000 in less than 3 years. She has done this through immense studying and investing in cryptocurrencies and NFTs. She currently only has one mission. Her mission right now is to teach you how to make money through cryptocurrencies and other blockchain related assets through her course. She is a, she is a huge financial freedom advocate with a goal of reaching 1 billion dollars how you may ask well you're in the right place because she's going to share that with us right here so ladies and gentlemen without further ado help me in welcoming the wonderful and intelligent lady Paula Wangai Njeru <laughs> welcome thank you thank you I think that was a solid uh, did i get anything wrong no you didn't <laughs> okay yeah spot on so welcome welcome to Kenya Thanks. Back to Kenya. Back to and welcome to the 
financial this is the financial hub team mm. and uh, the traders show podcast where we talk everything finances uh, business and entrepreneurship mm. so this month i think we had more or less a theme of uh, ladies or women in business and entrepreneurship and you're our second person so we are honored and happy she's really busy so we are <laughs> we are lucky yeah, and she true. has a tight schedule so we are lucky to get her before she travels back yeah so so yeah. welcome Thank you. Cool. We we'll have a good time. I think can can you start off? Okay, so I think to start off, I've, I was looking at uh, I was doing my research obviously before we do an episode I like looking at the person who's coming, the interesting things that they're doing. Right. If I've not met the person personally right. and I'd not met you personally, so I had to do my back work and try to understand here and there what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And I think a right or the right place where I think we can kick off or start off this conversation is Let's first look at NFTs. Uh right. if I just go into your website wangaenjeru.org I think Caleb mm. will put the the links on the show notes for people to yeah, see. Yeah for sure put it. Uh explain in Kenya no one knows about NFTs. Right? right? Very few yes. people actually in fact we do know but we don't understand it that deeply right. like that for uh, sure heard of it. Uh, we've heard of it mm-hmm. we know what it is but Mm. If you try and tell me how can I buy an NFT, where should I start, which one mm. should I buy, I don't have that knowledge. I've, right. I've not invested that much time in understanding that. So for the ab- average person, the basic person who doesn't understand anything about NFTs, how would you help them at least, first of all, get up to speed with what NFTs are mm. and how they're going to shape the future? And I'd like love you to do it from both a computer perspective because you right. have a background in computers also. and then also from the digital perspective of the crypto perspective which mm. is what many people know hectic okay <laughs> <laughs> so basically what most people uh, know nfts are is digital art right yeah. um in essence it's a lot more than that it's a lot more than just having a painting or a jpeg which you buy and you sell whose value is in you know maybe it's utility like for the bored apes mm-hmm. so there's so many other nfts there's music nfts which we're starting to see a lot of artists get in on octopizo just released his yeah. he did yes. yeah. he did yeah. yeah oh i didn't last right. week <laughs> i didn't see that mr yeah, was up to speed with that one uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, now I know, now I know. So there's virtual like there's real estate NFTs, there's gaming NFTs, so the skins, there's there's like so many NFTs, these wearables which I'm getting into. So I think the idea of NFTs is not just the digital art, which is what many people Which is what many think. people know and think about the collectibles, the you know, every, those collections that are 10,000 art pieces or whatever. It's everything that encompasses the physical world. essentially just being turned digital so in we are flipping sense. into digital we everything, are, every, on everything is basically moving to digital, digital right okay. and It's web 3 web web 3.0 web 3.0 yeah, yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so i think for me what i saw is not even the collectible to so the nfts i own are actually but like um, what is it called real estate nfts and fashion nfts because those are two industries you understand i well. think i understand especially yeah. fashion okay you said fashion and Fashion real estate, and, real estate. Okay. and with the metaverse coming up right mm. there's going to be virtual homes there's going to be our avatars they need to dress up they need to do abc yeah. so for me i'm seeing in the next 10 years this we're, we're literally transforming digital so i'm seeing okay here's a monetization aspect where i can buy a house a virtual house and then sell it in five years for someone who wants to live in that house okay. whose avatar wants to live in that virtually, house virtually okay. virtually yeah it sounds crazy uh-huh. but then i think that's where we're headed okay, okay. Yeah, true, true, true. especially true. once meta establishes itself in the metaverse world then mm-hmm. that's it um yeah. so the way to make money or to get into nfts is to identify a virtual asset that you think will give you results in the future right it is somewhat speculative but then you have to think for yourself where is the world going how is this going to give me returns in the future i'm not the biggest fan of collectibles i'm not the biggest fan of the body apes the crypto punks because that's very subjective all those are collectibles right no it's just virtual art basically yeah. which is subjective once the hype is gone it's over. where is the utility so right? you, you look over. for true, true, true. art which has utility yeah, that's so, that's the yeah. first thing so it's thing. something like gary v or body apes you know you're going to meet these celebrities i think that's why people are buying them 
them. Is that but, f- for joining the board? Uh, yeah, so club? if you buy yeah, yeah a board ape, then mm-hmm. you get to join that club, which, which has, has very yeah very okay. huge people. But yeah. then something like CryptoPunks, where there's no utility whatsoever, the value is just based on the hype and what people think about it. But then with this others like the wearables, you can imagine how many people want their avatars to have Gucci. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Or how many people we want to live in Paris in you know in the virtual world? Okay. So for me, I'm saying okay, this one seems to have more more utility mm-hmm. than this. So that's mm-hmm. where I'm leaning towards. So okay. my first advice would be okay, find something that seems to have utility in the future, and then be ready to now work towards it, research it, and then I'll put your money in it. Okay. Don't okay. buy into the hype. So don't do the other way back. Don't, don't put yeah, your don't money into the hype. Searching. NFTs yeah. is a dangerous zone. So you know. will lose money so quickly yeah. uh, you know and there's so many like scams there's so many rug pulls you mm. you'll just be sold for a project of you know lions or crocodiles <laughs> why are you buying that it's expected to go up in yeah. <laughs> but i think yeah. with we are moving too fast or people are we okay <laughs> well, <Sorry. first> of <laughs> all, yeah, yeah, for the average guy <laughs> yeah for the average guy and so hey, let, let me put myself in that <laughs> okay okay, okay. and okay. nft is a non fungible token right yeah. Go and tell a, a, a normal person okay, on the road. Right. What have is a non-fungible token. <laughs> what is a non-fungible token? First of all, okay, uh-huh. first, yeah. first, what like what is fungible? Fungible. What is a token? Is essentially uh-huh. replaceable. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people confuse that word. You can just say non-replaceable token. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Makes so. Sense. For example, Bitcoin is fungible in that there's something, there's another Bitcoin that you can trade this Bitcoin with, right? It has equal value to one Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Two zero point five Bitcoin is equal to Two one zero, bit, mm-hmm. Bitcoin, right? But then for the non-fungible ones, non-replaceable ones, they're just unique, right? I always mm-hmm. tell people there's one Mona Lisa. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay. It's only one. So an NFT is basically that unique digital piece of art or, yeah. Okay, I get it, I get it. So basically it's, uh, there's, 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 a, there's a physical art. Right. Which is, you have to first of all get the original art, the original physical art. Are you talking about NFTs? No, no, no. Oh, like okay. art, art, like art original art itself yeah. before you transform it digital. No. You don't have to get it the original. No. <laughs> and I was to I ask that. That was one of the questions I had. <laughs> no. If you have like now, yeah, like the Mona Lisa, like I know billionaires have yes, lots of art. They have collected right, that. Right. So mm-hmm. Like art is one of the most uh, significant investments which right. does not depreciate exactly. in value. Yeah. Uh, now, if if we're moving into the digital world of NFTs right. and we know people like people who've been creating uh, digital art, mm-hmm. right? Now, what happens to the real physical art? Does it have to be converted again to digital? Will it make any okay. sense? Will it have any like value? Like the Mona Lisa is now. Exactly. So you're okay. saying in the, no, that will never lose value. Something like the Mona Lisa is a classic. Mm-hmm. And it will never become an NFT. I don't think so, because then the NFT will be a copy of the real Mona Lisa. Right, if so NFTs it, are original. They're original. There's no they physical. Oh, yeah. So original yeah. and digital. And they're digital, okay, right. Okay. Not original being digitized. No. No, 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 no. 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 This is a different most world. Most of them are made digital. People wouldn't be people if you would move originals into NFTs. True, true, true. Right. I think that's what I've understood. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You have mm-hmm. to. So there are people now who will be creating digital art. Right. And they're the next wave of big artists or something. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Makes okay, sense. that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, wait, now back to, you. Want, she's answered your question? Yes. <laughs> but from that point, now we go to... <laughs> to <get. laughs> how do you make them? How okay. do you make them? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's made. for the artists, but yes. for the normal for person on the street, it's how do I buy an NFT and make a profit? Yeah, yeah. And if no, I want no, to no. become an artist, exactly. where do I start? Let's start from... Creating them, then how do I sell them? Okay, creating them mm. is up to you. What form of art do you create? You I have, have to, one you art. Have Caleb to... knows I have one that I want to make. <laughs> Today you're going to help me make it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not leaving you until I have an NFT. Do you know how to make an NFT? Actually, so making NFT, there's nothing like, okay, right? Do, are you talking about listing an NFT on yeah, OpenSea? Exactly, yeah, like listing it. Oh, uh, that's uh, easy. Uh, you uh, just uh, go to OpenSea, create an account and list your list NFT. It. Do Just I need simple. to like? Do I need to have like? Is there any investment? Um. Yes, you have to pay the fees. 
they have to, to use the platform. Yeah. So for OpenSea, you have to pay. Let's they're quite say, high because they're based on Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, exactly. There was so, that thing you have yeah. to buy some Ethereum. Yeah. So Solana so is like, much Please cheaper. walk me through that buying process. Buying or listing? Listing, <laughs> listing. No, sorry, listing, <laughs> listing, listing. Okay, so listing can yeah. literally be anything. I could take a picture from my phone mm-hmm. and go to OpenSea and actually click sell. Or list. or list, put down mm-hmm. the features of that particular picture or NFT. So, uh, before you open that open sea, you have to like first of all. You have to have, have a to... MetaMask, so a wallet, a cryptocurrency wallet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Link that wallet to open sea, right? In that wallet, you should have enough <laughs> crypto to pay for the transaction fees. Okay. Transaction right? fee of what exactly? So when you're listing, you're basically. I don't know. They just charge transaction fees. So they, they charge me to list it. Okay, that's yeah. They okay. charge you to list it's it, sort of like and then they site, take. So, of course so you're using the you. platform. Yeah, yeah. Using and the then platform. they're taking two point five percent also of your sale. Of myself, okay. right? Okay, that's normal. Like, it that's makes normal. sense if let's say if I want to list something on Jumia, I don't have to pay, but I, I'll pay them on the sale. Okay, but you know you're also putting something on the blockchain. Mm-hmm. Right, so, so maybe that's to... the fees that's on there. But I'm also putting something on the internet by putting it on Jumia. But this is the blockchain. So they charge me. They charge me to list it, and also they yeah. get money from my your sale. Yeah, a commission. But your sale can be anything. It can be a hundred thousand dollars, two dollars. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Because okay. I saw OpenSea by August last year, 2019, they had done oh. a total sale of about $3 billion of NFTs. Uh, yeah, the sales have gone up mm-hmm. exponentially. Revenue. Revenue. Like, $3 billion. Speculation. Guys, you saw when they went IPO, then they made those two founders. Already a public company. Mm. They made the two billionaires, the two okay. friends. Mm. So, so yeah. But but wait, 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 people. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Just the wait. I know Tara is saying we've gone fast and all that. And I know my boys have jumped straight into the meat. Right. I want my followers or our followers to, so let's just go back a bit, a okay. bit to how who is Paul and how did you get into NFTs? Who is Paul and how did I get? You guys don't okay. know who you are. So now I did a short introduction, mm. but how did you turn that one ninety dollars? Just give us a short story how you how you went. How you left Kenya, how you Great. got into NFTs. Storyteller, cousin. Yeah, my, my legs <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> okay, so I think I think a lot of entrepreneurs have a very similar journey, actually. Right? So I finished school in Kenya and then I went to University of Nairobi. I thought, no. You know, I just thought, no, let me go to Europe and then let me just further my studies. I'm a very smart person. I'm a books books person. So me, I never used to think outside business at all. Mm. I was just Academics. like books. Yeah, I was full like on academic, academics. full mm-hmm. on academic. So I went to Austria and I'd made a deal with my parents that month three, I start paying my own rent. I, I didn't month have, I, yeah, I didn't have any, I didn't have any money. I got yeah. there, there's laws, there's work permits. So I'm like, okay, where do I get money from? At the time I was babysitting 10 years an hour and I lied to my parents, I can afford everything, but bruv, I was struggling. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, I was struggling. Yeah, yeah. No one needs to lie, just be honest. Mm-hmm. And then I started now researching how do you make money on the internet, right? Went affiliate marketing. What year, what year is this? This is 2019, right? I go affiliate so you're marketing. So by this time? I was 18, yeah. Okay. You know? <laughs> and at that time, yeah, all my friends in Austria, hours. they're traveling to Spain, <laughs> they're going to Greece, they're going, yeah, me, I'm just like... I yeah. don't even have, you, you know, meat that. is a luxury, actually. Yeah, so then I start researching. I try affiliate marketing. I try those things for selling Kindle books or whatever. And then I, I get onto Forex. And I just thought, he... Yeah, that's what I thought, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> did you you know, I did try it. But now the thing is... The mistake a lot of people make is they're so quick to make money and when it doesn't work out, you quit, yeah. right? So I joined one of those groups. I told him I joined IML. Was it called mm-hmm. IML yeah, Academy? Yeah, yeah, IML. And you know, they life. send you signals, mm-hmm. but you don't even know what the hell these signals what are. So happening? I was like, this this shit is not mine. I'm mm-hmm. out of this place. I had spent, I think, $280 on their course or something like mm-hmm. that. And then I was like, okay, back to square one. And then I have this conversation about Bitcoin. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me if I bought $1 of Bitcoin, now I would be in retirement, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, from that day, it was just, you know, when you know, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just went all in. I started reading about Satoshi, the blockchain, and I was so intrigued. I was like, this is mind blowing. Mm-hmm. So I just dug deep and I'm a real risk taker. And I remember the first time I invested, um, I put in my school fees. Please don't ever do that. 
All of it. <laughs> I did. So I started with the one ninety dollars yeah, first. That yeah. was a loan from my auntie. Mm-hmm. I put it in Ethereum. Is your auntie who introduced you to crypto? No, she's not. Okay. I heard from my brother that she's in crypto, and she okay, okay. she tells me that okay, she's made thousands of dollars from it. And your I was auntie. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how how why don't you ever tell us? You know, she's mm-hmm. like, people are too close minded to open up about this. Mm-hmm. And then I started making money, making money slowly by slowly. Um, and now with then, the one ninety dollars. Yeah, with the one ninety dollars. What price did you buy in? What price? Mm. I bought Ethereum. I think it was at one sixty or two sixty dollars. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. And I just put minutes. the money in, yeah. and then now that's that one the market, fully Ethereum. You put all of it, the whole one ninety in Ethereum. Yeah, I put it all because that's the only thing I could afford, right? So you had one full Ethereum. Yeah. So I had. More I have less. two Ethereum's. I yeah. bought two Ethereum's. I forgot about them. I just moved on with my life. Yeah. And then the market was doing nothing for the yeah, most for a long part. Time. Yeah. yeah. So then Ekafika 2020 summer and DeFi started blowing. up. Up. crypto started going back going up, yeah. i put in my school fees i was just like okay i tripled my school fees i was like i'm in this thing full time now <laughs> still ethereum yeah, no nice. no now now i had all the Diversified. time when the market was stagnant yeah, yeah. i was learning okay. so i was just like okay what's this thing what's this thing mm-hmm. um and then i continued i continued and then i found myself here don't know how so then with nfts that was in january 2021 Um yeah. and my auntie tells me to get onto this crypto called Gala and I'm like okay sina pesa okay I don't know if you guys have an international audience I don't have money mm-hmm. then she tells me play the game mm-hmm. earn some tokens mm-hmm. and then play the game yeah so it was it before gaming so crypto gaming is, blew yeah. up right mm-hmm. so they were play to earn So oh, I yeah. played the game. Oh, yeah, there's still that by the there people mm. who have made yeah. millions but out of But now it's oversaturated obviously. Uh, but the kings are tit. Yeah, like there's I was watching some made money purely some from kid from yeah. Juvenezuela or whatever. Yeah, the same. Yeah. Make millions out of gaming. <laughs> Okay. You're it's quite funny. So that's what Gala was all about. So Gala is a gaming studio that yeah, so it's a cryptocurrency which I love so much. So yeah. I started playing the game and then I'm seeing people selling land for like 100 Hundred thousand dollars. I'm thinking, why am I buying land on this game? So I start research. I thought it was absurd. I thought mm-hmm. people are now losing it. Mm-hmm. Weapons, characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, this is madness. Then when the Elon Musk dip happened, I was like, okay, let me look deeper into this. What's NFT. that? What's the Elon Musk dip? Oh, when he said he's selling his Bitcoin, PayPal is selling. Oh, <laughs> that's Tesla what he termed it. The Elon Musk dip. Yeah, everyone calls it. That. <laughs> okay, you know, okay. Tesla is selling Bitcoin because mm-hmm. of environmental things, yeah, 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 yeah. and then yeah, the market just went mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. So I started learning about it, and then I got into <clears throat> NFTs. Yeah. So that's how you and NFTs. That means you started when last year, 2021. 2021. Yeah, so 2021. And did you bought a couple or you started also minting? So I started so minting. I got And you should explain to people what is the difference between minting and buying. Is someone who's listening after that? He doesn't even okay, understand. I think, I think what am I minting? What am I buying? Though, yeah. mm-hmm. Because um when you mint an NFT it can also mean you're getting in once the NFT has been listed. Mm. Right? There's also white listing where you get in before the NFT has been released. Mm-hmm. Right? So there's white listing then minting then buying from a secondary marketplace. There's those three things. Oh, But mm-hmm. then people interchange minting and like creating an NFT mm-hmm. which yeah. It's not confuse me in the beginning. Because also I, I thought minting is creating. Uh, yeah. That's what that's what it is. Cuz in crypto that's what minting is, yeah. Yeah. Mining. Like, mining. Uh, so mining. 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 I'm confusing <laughs> the two. The two. Yeah. Oh, okay. So minting is... Minting yes, is yeah. more or less buying, but... Yeah, it's buying, buying immediately the, the, the artist. So how do you get into it. the white listing? Because I... The white listing that actually that's I think the most speculative of them all because you're putting a chance on that particular artist. They've yeah. not even released the NFT. Yeah, yeah. It could look like shit. Yeah, yeah. You're buying a blank thing yeah, yeah. and then you're waiting for him to release it mm-hmm. and then you know sell it on a oh, secondary that's market. That's why the whitelist gets like people need people to hype the whitelist. Exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have to get in on mm-hmm. the community. You hear this person just says I'm releasing this NFT. This is the utility. Mm-hmm. This is what I want it to do. Do you trust me? Okay, mm-hmm. buy it. <laughs> that's whitelisting. And this and for okay. more or less just like uh duplicating what happened in the dot com because uh, i was thinking about it if you right. think about it in the in that space right yeah. now this rampant risk taking like it's mm-hmm. money like, yeah. people mm-hmm. are not taking risks yeah calculated yeah. yeah you're not calculating what you're doing you're just ah, let me buy here and there but when you when you come back to 
looking at it long term like i really like how you're thinking about it like in mm. five years what will be yeah what what will have value mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it's only something that has utility that can last that long for yeah. sure because even after the dot com bubble they still amazon they still google they still microsoft this company mm-hmm. survived mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so it's it's about now identifying which Cause which sectors in that like, space like what you're saying survive. in the dot com you're familiar with the dot com yeah yeah like you remember ken when we were seeing and researching and taras guys were buying domains that weren't even existing exactly yeah. Yeah. that's the same thing you're saying exactly. with the white listing yeah. it's a blank yeah. you don't know even and what's people coming are yeah. people are willing to bet on it exactly ideas, ideas too. so it's this yeah. it's sort of like, and we talked about it the other day it's sort of like a rush that people are having like fomo yeah. feel of missing out so that's they want true. to be the first one but also besides fomo is thinking about it don't you think it's also because many people don't even understand what is happening. Yeah, if you don't yeah. understand of course you'll have FOMO. It's a get mm-hmm. rich like quick scheme just, they think, you yeah, know. Yeah, so. What I think I heard this from one YouTuber and he said same if this is actually going to go like the dot com bubble, just wait until the bubble pops then get in, Buy. right? Yeah. So then the ones that will survive are the ones that will thrive. Yeah. So Those you could you could value. do that. That's my right? plan. You could That's do that. <laughs> <laughs> But then there's a risk too because yeah. the good ones will be identified by us who've been in the space for that long mm-hmm. and now we'll be selling it to you guys at a hiked price we won't sell once the bubble busts because we're at a loss pro- probably mm-hmm. but won't you get it at discount but i price? feel like most people okay, don't most sell people because will sell yeah, most people will sell because yeah, they people think panic. Yeah. Hey, i'm exactly. panic like they yeah. don't sell objectively and, and yeah. they just sell because yeah. hey, i'm in yeah. loss like amazon amazon.com went from what to what amazon went from 250 dollars to, to trade six, as low as six dollars exactly mad, when, mad. When, when so people sold exactly people So it's funny yeah. it's it's, it's what us we're used to reading and understanding the yeah. fundamental yeah. side and understanding yeah. the psychology yeah. behind the investors and traders and panic of course uh, those things don't go stopping everyone that time, even, even the one who's objective true, thinks ah oh, now this thing is over yeah. Yeah. And that, and now that's, yeah. that's when it goes on to the news this market is never going to recover it was exactly. all a scam a yeah. sham yeah. and that's the time now Ken and the likes are starting, <laughs> to, <laughs> starting to hunt <laughs> starting to hunt and that's the same thing we see a lot of uh the likes of JP Morgan they used to do that during right. uh, back if you go now history always repeats itself if you go back to the early 1900s when you're having the revolution when the railways were coming those guys were waiting for companies to crash and they start buying it at that time right. and it's, it's it's a good way so the same thing what we are doing us right now mm. we're not really fully into it right. but we're paying attention to what is happening exactly. you know right. wherever money is moving we want to know what is happening in that, that space, space yeah. mm. so we want to understand it that's why you're here we're asking you questions yeah maybe we will one will buy your course and understand what you, we'll talk <laughs> yeah, about your yeah. course later on so that the guys will understand but it's it's a good space that i think people should not take it for granted but at the same time really go deep into it and one of the best ways they can do is through your course yeah, yeah and true. and and yeah so at least you've answered my question for but i have something to say yeah. someone once said history doesn't repeat itself human mm. beings do Yeah. So it's us who are predictable and not the history actually. Okay. For sure, exactly. Because humans yeah. create the history. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So our behaviors are so predictable. Yeah, right? true. Yeah. True. human psychology is the same. <laughs> It never, never changes. It never changes. <laughs> never changes. Since 1900. No, since hey, the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like that's the beginning that. of the earth. It's just that Sukota is making a Solomon. Ni kwa tukukonka. Capitalism bado has been raining and all that. So so I I heard you I heard you mention uh utility you look right. for, for for things which have utility. Let me let me let me try to be let me use a shortcut. Right. Uh-huh. Where do you think will have utility in five years? Which according side? to you which, which side? side which sectors should i focus on five years on? Yeah. like which i which think there's sectors? so many areas in the digital nft space that will have utility mm-hmm. but for me honestly i am sticking to real estate and um fashion. and fashion yeah. as the industries continue to grow then i'll think about branching into the rest but because i know the value people put in looking good like this you can never go mm-hmm. wrong with clothes <laughs> like mm-hmm. you know so that's one place I know will have utility. I could invest in musicians and their songs and the NFT audios and, but Okay. Yeah. Expound on that also. Yeah, What's okay. happening on that side? How does that work? The oh, NFTs how? for music. So you just release a music, you release a music NFT mm-hmm. and I own it, right? Yeah. And I get as as passive income I get royalties. Okay. So I get maybe 5%, 10% of all the sales. This is make. the person who's released the music, right? 
not say buyer. So you're the artist you've released. Okay. I buy your NFT. Mm-hmm. I still get passive income based off of how much you sell or how that music keeps selling. Okay. That particular album. So maybe you've released the NFT, but you've still released an album on Apple Music okay. or something else. I'm still going to get a percentage of your earnings. Right. On Apple Music and all these other platforms. Yeah, so I'm an NFT holder, so you're gonna pay me. Serious? Right? Yeah, it depends on the artist and what they and what yeah. the terms the are. NFT. Yeah. But I think Octopizo had that. His yeah. people were earning some <coughs> passive income. Lil Nas not Lil Nas, Nas, Nas actually. Yeah. Nas had that. Snoop Dogg had that. I think I want us to focus on Snoop Dogg. <laughs> he made forty four million dollars. By the way, mm-hmm. from Snoop Dogg is a very smart person. So I want mm-hmm. you to explain yeah, right? to me how that's Snoop Snoop Dogg has virtual land in the metaverse. This guy is not lot. playing a lot. Yeah. And you know the people who actually had land around Snoop Dogg, the value of that land rose the minute Snoop Dogg bought it. For real? Yeah. 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 Just went up no in the price. Just went up in. Yeah. yeah. Now no one can afford that land. It's in the millions and hundreds. So, so of thousands. when you come to the metaverse, like what you're talking about, the right. land. Since Maybe it's let's digital explain and all. what the metaverse exactly. is. Exactly. But I want to say, man, but I have a portrait. I don't know how it is if you trust that. Okay, let's go. What? Okay. So the metaverse is basically just the virtual universe, right? Mm-hmm. Where anything and everything is possible. You can be anyone. Here's where now humans are good. This is where now uh, humans can be anything they want, right? Yeah. You can teleport you can meet whatever friends you want you and can I think look the way you want as you continue explaining you'll just continue yeah. a good example someone can see that virtually is have you watched ready player one <laughs> no no have you have you watched ready player one no uh, okay my watch yeah, yeah go go watch go watch it's a complete it's by spielberg spielberg mm-hmm. yeah spielberg he, he's the one who directed it um it came out recently I think two years ago, something like that. About two years ago. A depiction of what will happen in the metaverse. It's so true. It's more or less virtual reality and the metaverse. So how? Right. So he takes us forward to 2025. So his explanation of that is already. I think it's 2025 or 2050. One of the yeah. two. I think it's 50. 50. I think that's, it's 50. It's 2050. He went 20, 20, 30 years ahead. 25 is just here. <laughs> and two, yeah, it's 2050. Mm. And two can exist. Example of how we've already transitioned and how people are living in the metaverse, right? More or less. So, so social guys, media will basically turn into that. That's the next level of social. Everything media, is right? going to go. We started with WhatsApp. We actually started with SMS, then WhatsApp, then Facebook, then Instagram, then TikTok. Next is the metaverse, right? We'll be hanging out with our friends in virtual concerts. <laughs> So when you're in Austria, when I'm in Austria, <laughs> <laughs> right? When I'm in Austria, that's what I'll be doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And I think I was very skeptical about it until I saw Paris Hilton held this concert in the metaverse and people attended. And Snoop people Dogg pay. was was selling his concerts. I think his house party something mm. for a hundred thousand dollars or like fifty thousand dollars. People bought it. A ticket, right? Yeah. So now you start to realize everybody with disposable income wants to fit into that space mm-hmm. and I think if you if you move about it smart you can monetize so much. So in terms of saying metaverse is the is the digital <laughs> world. Wait 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 listen listen. Me ni kelo si stuke. Wait no I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm trying to explain to someone who's 40. I want to buy land. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you yeah, just say you're mad. Magali, yeah. you only can, but you're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. Magali, yeah. Yeah, you're mad. <laughs> but think about it. There's this platform called OVR. Mm-hmm. People have already bought land in State House. Kenyans are not slacking. They're actually buying. So this thing, that's that's my question. That's right. what's coming. So the metaverse, is, humans are creating it. Yeah. Right. When we're buying land. Right. Is this metaverse going to be one place where it's like you know, like Earth is Earth? Yeah, yeah. Unless you're buying land in Mars now with Elon Musk, <laughs> and it's Earth, Earth it's God created limited <laughs> supply yeah. of limited land. Supply yeah. of land. Yeah. <laughs> the metaverse is being. Uh, how is it? Is it one place will go all of us, or it's different? <laughs> Uh, how, how is different that? metaverses. Now the question at the end of the day is which one will win, right? Okay, Facebook by the end of the day, only one will win. win. No, no, I think it depends on what this person brings to the table, what this metaverse brings. There's gaming metaverses, this metaverses. Facebook wants to create basically earth virtually, mm-hmm. right? So in the end, it's who wins. So Facebook wants to create replica earth 
on the yeah. metaverse. Basically, uh, he, to, uh, I, I don't mean to be that person, but he wants to collect all your data, so he'll do everything he can. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the land that Snoop Dogg da- has is on which metaverse? Decentraland. Decentraland. Yeah. I was trying to so play that game. Sandbox, I have an avatar. So Decentraland yeah. and Meta. Those are the three my eyes are on. And OVR too for virtual real estate. So are you also buying their, their coins? The central land, I do have their coin sandbox. I do, um, but I think I'll stick with the central land just because the billionaires are, you know. Pouring them. The First, explain to the average man <laughs> what the central land. The metaverse. central land is a metaverse, it's a meta, right? It's you can one go metaverse. in, try, play around. I've Obviously, they're still I've, I've developing. Tried it. Uh, I and and don't use if you can get a gaming laptop. I don't use, use this that. one. <laughs> Why is that? Because the power is so much. The the processing. The power M1 of, can't survive that. I don't know, man. Mine overheats. Okay. They are powerful machines. <laughs> <laughs> Gaming yeah, machines. Powerful yeah. machines. Okay, yeah. so that makes sense. So Snoop Dogg is on Decentraland. Right. Different people, different. Snoop so Dogg, now on the Adidas. Decentraland, uh-huh. can more land be created? There's this one that Snoop Dogg bought with. That's a good can question. Can Jay-Z come and have... Can no, Jay-Z has to buy land from someone else who owns so that So buy from land. Snoop. And so no, really no. Finish. so there's so much land, but retail investors also own that land. Yeah. Now is when Gucci, uh, these auctioneers, these mm-hmm. galleries are starting to get into these metaverses and the, buying land. The distra- decentral land. Decentral land and sandbox. So we have Adidas, we have Gucci, we have Nike. Yeah, yeah. They're all setting up stores, virtual stores. Inside I've the seen Nike land. do Inside, that. I've yeah, seen also Gucci. So, yeah. But it's finite. It's the finite. Land, that's my question. That's actually a very good question. I think it is. I think it is, yeah. Yeah, Gucci. Doesn't have to be Gucci. Can be Mimi Taras. Nime create Gucci. No, 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 no. no. That's Gucci, the company. <laughs> <You'll be sued. laughs> uh, like it is in no. the same as the last week. The real thing no. being digital. Last no, week. no, 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 no. Just she got when you get to No, no. So, so. And it says it creates Gucci Angu. Utasuiwa. You'll be sued. It's in fraud. Come on, say it. I'm going to create Mona Lisa Angu. Oh, well, you can't. Yo, she what said that. you can do is go mm. buy land on the central land. Mm-hmm. This land, it's whoever wants to buy will buy, right? Mm-hmm. And if those buy, big buy industries quite. want to come, <laughs> they will have to buy from retail investors. You oh, already okay. own that mm-hmm. land, right? So they'll have to buy from you. Okay. But you price that land the way you feel like. You can okay. set it at 10 million or Like what? Snoop Dogg, we've right. bought the land, the neighbors are there. Yeah. Then what next? We build the house. What do you mean? Like, okay, this is so the land. So we'll be living there. So right now, How? Snoop Dogg just pops yeah. in, she... walks around with his central land with his avatar. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Oh my God. But this is crazy, <laughs> It man. sounds crazy, but mm-hmm. imagine how Bitcoin sounded when it first started. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Right? Lafu, uh, uh, is most of this for fun? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, these are those avatars. Because I've seen, mm. I've seen, like, that's a good question. Like, will you have I think Love is asking, will you have corporate events? Will you have people will, working yeah. there? Yeah. Not, will you uh, have... Uh, not even yeah, that. Yeah, I like, actually got a job in the Metaverse. You did? I did, in a bar. And your job was and? to? To be the jo- the person serving the drinks. And you Seriously? actually do that? I didn't take it because I think I had to pay Ethereum and then I don't know the what. Case. Yeah, there was a lot of transactions mm-hmm. that I wasn't aware of. And you had to be paid? Yeah, so now... And people drink in now, the Metaverse, but I'm not getting people. drunk in the video. <laughs> You know, so that now, like, now, you're you doing this shit for fun. You know, you're living, mm. you're living your That's life the through your yeah. avatar. Kuna hayo mse for fun, nama kuna any... Si kuna benefits. Oh, si kuna uza pombe. Kwa nula haya, si kuna haya because you are selling you're something. You're getting paid. Mm. You're getting paid. Because people are... So, Pia, people are I can even create alcohol in the metaverse. Yeah. You can be a manufacturer. Yeah, so watch what, what I'm saying. Is, <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you're actually on the right track. You can be a manufacturer. Because now people are getting into the metaverse oh, as real careers, right? There's architects that are getting in. There's, <laughs> it's actually a mad world. So kitaka kwa brewery, think about it. So there's no limit to this world. That's the point. There's that's no the limits. selling point, actually. Anyone can be anything. You could be anything. Right, you could be a, a nine-to-five person who's always wanted to be a dancer. And right? you can be someone who's um let's say pum pum but in your <laughs> in your verse you're, you're one you beautiful handsome guy exactly. over there imagine the human psychology that thing will sell that's the thing that happened in the ready player one right. that these two players they met differently right this lady came because they were doing it's sort of like a game they're competing so in the, in the ready player one it's one metaverse there's this billion this guy who created it became 
very rich, like a trillionaire, but he died. Okay, so he left inside the metaverse a certain competition, which if if people are able to complete it, they're going to own the whole metaverse. Yeah. Okay, so he didn't just leave it to anyone. So now these two people met. This other person, Akoko Gariake, is in the car somewhere. Then this other lady is just somewhere else. Okay, but they met in the metaverse and they look completely different from the avatars, right. but they fell in love. Oh. Yeah. They fell in love, or rather, the guy fell in love with the lady. Right. Virtually. Oops. Virtually. Yeah, virtually. Oh, God, I love. <laughs> hey, now see, now yeah, you have to meet. You can actually talk to each other. Because these guys metaverse. actually spend the whole day inside the metaverse. This guy right. wakes up in the morning, goes inside the car, wears the VR, and is already into this. But Aljidi, please, you guys, go watch. My name is Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego, like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner. But he died when I was a kid, my mom too. And I ended up here. Sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere. Except the Oasis. A whole virtual universe. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. Who is this Parzival, and how the hell is he winning? Find him. This isn't just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis. The world's most important economic resource. It's nothing less than a war. We're control of the future. Welcome to the rebellion, Wade. Like many of you, I only came here to escape. But I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis. Please, you guys, go watch. Go watch. Have go you watch Ready Player One. Have you entered You have? I have. How I long have. did you spend? I didn't take long. There's a day I even got a boyfriend, man. I was like hooked. And I was like, okay, this thing's how, actually how, how serious. How did you get a boyfriend? You're just walking around. <laughs> someone is like, hi. Hi. Then, you know, they start talking. They unmute themselves. They start talking. You go sit somewhere. You're chatting. Yeah, literally. Like, it's weird. Yeah, but I'm not joking. What? <laughs> swindler. <laughs> swindler. <laughs> swindler. <laughs> 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 My avatar <laughs> was. Yeah. Without me being active. No. No, you have to be there. You have That's to, the point. Yeah, you have to be there. Yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe you hire but someone to run like, your avatar. I'm a 9 to 5 person. Right. Nico, Nico, F up 9 to 5. But kuna msem. So that's your escape. Right? The metaverse is going to be an escape. So when I'm not in my 9 to 5, I'm in my metaverse. Yeah. That's how the world so, will be. Uh, this is a very, another good so, question. So what do you have? Okay, now... Now the real work. The people, real work. <laughs> people will still be living or not, right? Right. Uh, like life, I change. Yeah, life, I change. Like people still have needs. Right. People still have. Uh, you need to eat. People are ill. They need to go to hospital. Right. All these people things, are dying, right? Mm-hmm. And now we ask a very important question: Like, are we doing all this for fun? Mm. Or is there, or the is there a real, like, real what's the essence like, can we, of it? Are we, are we going to transform our lives from? Yeah. Because, because if I'm buying land. Right. Digital. Right. Nasila right. land kwanza physically. Physically. Yeah. Nasila land. Nasila land. Okay. Good point. Like how how? Now you you have some. You can you in a better position to answer that. Twenty years from now, you'll be like, where was I laughing at this? But anyway, you know, like 
it doesn't just yeah yeah true. like i still feel like people need lead, need to live normal lives right. like if even if we look at the people who spend so much time even on social media are people right. who are not busy right mm. i don't like, think that's true okay actually. there are people who are working there right there are people who their main job is on social media but you can imagine if your main job is if being a doctor uh, let's yeah. say a doctor i'm sure no doctor spends about 4 hours a day on social media i'm not more. sure about that are you sure It's an escape man. It's a real escape. What are, and like how far and do you, do you know how comforting Instagram is? You've how? seen how TikTok is. Mm-hmm. So comforting. Yeah. You know because the dopamine. Mm-hmm. So imagine the levels of dopamine in the metaverse. Yeah, that's that's It's meant crazy, to be like right? 10, 10. And this metaverse is not for poor people. If you have disposable income, disposable time, it's for you. If you don't have enough money to Why waste you know see us here I'm to uh, <laughs> 99% <laughs> of Kenya <laughs> 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 we know who's going to be on the metaverse that would have a wild waka it's kamulu after while I go physically okay yeah. but i get you like according to researchers uh, right. many people spend time on social media a lot a lot a lot first world countries right okay yeah. that's mm-hmm. that's true So But these things are created with crying. those people in mind. Know, it's fine. <laughs> it's just yeah. funny. But I'm asking now like even in I still don't get it. Unless you unless you're telling me because you know we have to think about it from the perspective of you have to bring in things like artificial intelligence, machine right, learning. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes, if you're moving into these things, uh, more and more people will have time to do certain things because right. You'll find that some of the jobs that were being done by people are now being done by computers, by machines, mm-hmm. by robotics. Like if I'm driving, I won't have to drive. If I'm moving from one place to another, I can just be in the metaverse right. and the car will be just self-driven all the way to where I'm For going. Sure, yeah. So yeah, we'll get to that point, right? Mm-hmm. But still, like we've still not solved some some problems for some people like oh, what, what, what you say, right? <laughs> some people are still hungry like some people still yeah, yeah. like how yeah. how how how, how do these that? people fit in in that world that and not world. the target market so then that's they, the unfortunate thing they won't move now. now for now well I think as it evolves like yeah, Caleb is saying you know when people you have me tried me tried that day you remember Caleb I tried <laughs> listing uh, uh, listing my NFT yeah they told me to switch by Ethereum and stuff and right. I was like asa is Ethereum then ah uh, the price was like too much but uh-huh. if you if you get someone who is already ready because for me I was new it was my first time opening open sea trying all that shit right but for someone like her maybe and hello is over to Ethereum okay you stuff me which coin exactly yeah. come on is also Solana you know how to yeah. buy the Solana coins But now the problem will be the same too. So the 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 layman man. Yeah. Koi metaverse has to exist. Yeah. But it's <laughs> so, true. You know that's the mm. thing about life. It's very unfair. Even social media size. Right? Sorry, sorry to mm. interrupt. Even social media size. Even the layman man on social media. I go Facebook, I go TikTok. Exactly. Yeah. What's yeah. up? Go glam mali. Everyone is like, you know how it's long mainstream. has it taken them to get and there? That's what years. Right. How old is metaverse and NFTs? Do you know the thing is Facebook has been developing its metaverse since eight years ago. 20 This mm. guy had this 14. vision. Yeah, he's So been, he's only he releasing it right now. This guy mm. the interview. He's only the one starting he with, to release it with now. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you have to realize there's a whole plan set in stone, of course, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, whoever benefits, whoever doesn't, I don't think they care about it. They just mm-hmm. want to make their money and you know advance in tech and move on with life, right? Whoever has not eaten and doesn't have a place to sleep, <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it, is, it is what <laughs> it is. Yeah, and, 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 okay. and, and that's, that's the thing now with with a lot of this uh, NFTs. The body apes used to be given for free, crypto mm-hmm. punks were free. Mm-hmm. So it's for these people to also identify these opportunities, opportunities as early as they can because the earlier it is for them the better. The less money they spend, the less risk there is and then now they can jump onto that. Because one thing with the body apes something that gives me red flags and all yeah. that I can't really jump quickly into it and that's why I think I don't yet have any NFTs yeah. is it's 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 a normal of some art, right? The body some art, masterworks. Yeah those, those are real art those are real art we'll get into it okay so what I was saying um um or something that gives me red flags and all is whenever in any industry yeah. you start finding everyone and celebrities are all into it right. there's something that's not right why there's something that's not right cuz these guys have not yet put in yet the time look especially when it comes to financial assets okay mm-hmm. 
these things are complex in themselves and many people don't understand it including okay? the artists including <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah many yes. people don't understand it so whenever things on social media and everyone is advocating for it yeah. there's already a red flag yeah. a red flag it's normal it's what we normally see <clears throat> in the markets it's been happening years and years over and over again so by the time in celebrity like you're seeing i'm entering this body just so that i can see how much is a body average averagely maybe 800k uh, 500 dollars. to 800 yeah five that's 80 million kenya shillings right and they are being given for free yeah and in the beginning how long, how, <laughs> how, how long is how how old are nfts the concept of nfts maybe since 2018 so about no, three years no i don't i think mainstream right maybe mainstream, they yeah. existed okay. before yeah right? it's just the same thing as cryptocurrency though the cryptographs that are existing right. since the since 90s since the 90s True. yeah so okay but everything doesn't matter until it's mainstream yeah like we can't sure. we can't say this thing existed for 20 no right. it only exists when everyone starts caring about it yeah like but don't, no buy don't buy a body don't buy a body is this is no that's your advice no buy something with utility man it's mm. uh, yeah is it, and, and even, for you like if right. you just okay yeah, yeah, if no you problem. go into the utility you're talking about and right. you said you focus on fashion and real estate yeah. right <clears throat> so on fashion let's let's dissect fashion a bit right which brands do you own or which brands are you looking to own to own okay so what happens is you actually start by what these brands are doing is they're looking for an artist right looking to work with an artist the minute you can catch on to that very quickly and mm-hmm. buy into that artist before the brand announces its partnership mm-hmm. you have money okay right so upon the kazi iko upon the kazi the research is so serious yeah, you have yeah, to that one you, need to, you go have to go deep yeah, right true, true. so there's a few people you'll hear okay i saw this person from ad people are on this discords like nobody's business so i found out about this um artist called 10ktf he makes wearables and apparently adidas and gucci were in the discord just wearables are clothes wearables are virtual okay, clothes okay. for your avatar <laughs> just, uh, just yeah. confirm me, yeah so you know this adidas <laughs> execs are looking inside the people found out and then people started buying that collection so it's up to you to really be hands on forget about making money and how can i be an artist how can you 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 make your art Now you have to how artist. how do i learn how do i learn that and now that and you have to go to artists yeah, mm. buy an ipad or i don't know those things designs and, yeah you all. start drawing or take cool pictures and sell or paint mm. i don't know yeah okay me Good now stuff. i have another question also in terms of this nfts uh which sector of the industry would you rather be in terms of opportunities and risks mm-hmm. so would i rather be in the creation sector mm-hmm. I would I rather be in this in the buying and selling trying to speculate this asset this this album this art this wearable am I should I be in the sector of creating this <laughs> You can only be in the creating sector if you're a creator, right? Exactly. If you have good art, right? It's But they can learn. It's also right, it's not even only about the yeah, art. Learn, How well can you market? How quickly can you build your community? What utility are you giving people? It's beyond just the drawing. So there's Ooh. more work there's more there's work, more work. Yeah. How, so you, creating. how so an artist basically me. forms like a company it's like, it's a, like company. a company you have, you have a marketing like a aspect you have, to, uh, you have a community people, mm-hmm. yeah. you have a product you have a product exactly. and then you have the investors who will come and buy the product exactly oh, okay now i get now i get it. so uh in terms of risks yeah is it easier for me to go down as a creator or for me to go down as a holder as like, a creator like, like, uh, do do most creations go down like in terms of speculation let's say you bought an <coughs> nft today let's say at uh 0. something ethereum yeah and uh like so like for the company to also make money mm-hmm. there has to be guys bidding higher prices for this asset yeah so if 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 the asset doesn't get bid as I'm a guys buying it uh, uh already everyone who has the uh, 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 all the buyers are losing money and also yeah. the creator is losing money The creator I don't I'm think is losing does he money. Has anything he's to just lose. not making money. Yeah, he's just not making, making money. money. Yeah, yeah. True. Okay, mm-hmm. Exactly. So for this person he's he's for the creator is just losing on the opportunity. Right. But for the for the speculator you you've invested now your money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But people who creator kuna money will invest. Uh, yeah, at that yeah. time initially time, yeah. yeah. But yeah. if people have already bought your NFT <clears throat> then you've probably made back that money if you are wise enough to yeah. price it above the transaction fees. Oh. Mm-hmm. And when I sell an NFT as a creator I also have the royalties. 
Yeah, so you make it's you who sets that price, but mm-hmm. you make money every time someone Sell, sells your NFT. Sells so not for just life. by holding. Not just by so holding. Have it <laughs> okay, so you have it. And do we have any this is a very good question that I have. Do we have any any means or any method of calculating how the value goes up? Or it's just a fact that there's someone who's willing to spend money buying it and so I Exactly. Like, how do you speculate on price? Because yeah. trading, a technical aspect, a, yeah, a there's a technical aspect. aspect of NFTs too. There's like. analytics. There's all that. Like a pivot so, up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I don't yeah. think it's as advanced as crypto and forex, yeah. forex yeah. but there and are sports. obviously like but there places where yeah, yeah, there's calculations. So before you actually get into a project, you can mm-hmm. check the analytics. How have they been performing? What's their volume? Are there whales or people who are investing large oh, amounts okay. of money? Okay, okay, okay. Then you just track their social media, go into their Discord, look in their Telegram. By the way, it's not just buying. You have to it's do a, a lot a, of homework. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, back to me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we've talked about, about we've talked, today. You're on the spot. <laughs> the guys will learn from you. It's a good thing. Because you'll talk about your course. We'll get to it. Um, apart from now, NFTs, we've talked a lot about NFTs, which we'll still continue talking about. It's yeah. a bit confusing. And Ken is still crying over here to, <laughs> to understand what it works. Let's go to something at least we have at least a bit of experience in and all cryptocurrencies yeah. Yeah. and money. Money. I saw, I saw, I saw, I went through your, your Instagram page right. and when you started your whole journey and everything into all this financial freedom, understanding everything, you first started with reading books and you read a lot of books on money. On money. I saw you, right. you kept You're something right. like that. Okay. So, so what, what, what are the few things that gave you an aha moment about money that you're really shocked that people really should know? Like, yeah. for example, uh-huh. personally, one thing that I have about money, uh, uh, so money, it has a lot of utility it's, it's different so currency and money is different right. there are things like what we're talking about gold has certain intrinsic value that has had for a long time gold is money gold is money exactly and bitcoin has become the digital gold right. okay money in itself true money has appreciating value in the long term okay, okay? what i mean by that is mm-hmm. for example the first transaction we ever had on cryptocurrencies that was valued a certain amount of Bitcoins can buy something is when we had the 10,000 Bitcoins buying the pizza. Right. So that's when we valued it. Right. 10 years later, 10, it's now... 10,000 Bitcoins. Exactly. Mm, 10,000 years later. One Bitcoin 10,000 years later. 10 years later, yeah. it's 0.0000 amount, 0001 something mm. that will buy that same amount of pizza. Right. Over the same time frame, currency, things like dollars, Kenya shillings. If you used to buy uh, pizza for 10, uh, let's say... 500 bob yeah. or let's say five dollars right now the same amount of pizza you'll buy it for More. like eight let's say ten dollars even yeah. so during that time frame currency in itself things like dollars are always depreciating in value and right. that's a fact but things okay. like money gold silver bitcoin they're appreciating because you're using okay. less amount of that to buy the same amount of goods you could do this be a mm. few hours a few years behind another one more thing that i can say is that money is a unit of time Right. Okay. So what I mean, Ken, or uh, rather Brodo, you, you invent and all that. There's a certain pay people that get per hour. Right. Yeah. So you exchange your time for money. Exactly. Okay. If you don't work, there's no money. Okay. So sort of money is a unit, is a measurement of time. It sort is. of. Okay. Activity basically. More or less. Yeah, yeah. If you don't work, there's no money. Right. Now, the thing is, the more you Let work. money work for you. <laughs> now, the goal, that's what I was getting to. The goal, now the people who have lots of money yeah. were able to become smart enough and leverage their money such that when you earn it, you know, 10 years from now, if I invest this money in something, uh, let's say like Bitcoin or an asset, it's going to appreciate in value. Right. So an investment is also a good way of making your money work grow, for okay? you. Yeah. So now my question back to you, let me not get deep into it because the question was for you. What 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 are your thoughts on money and how did you come all the way to cryptocurrency? Gosh, that is so deep. <laughs> how do I top that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you asked me about money lessons, right? Yes, money lessons. I think for me, when I was breaking my money habits, the bad ones, it started by that thing about money and time. Mm-hmm. right where i realize that okay for me it was a bit different if i'm buying a pair of sneakers mm-hmm. that's 100 euros that's mm-hmm. five hours of my time so i started calculating like mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. i would be like okay i'm buying so these shoes for this, five hours you, yeah, and, true, you know true, true. so then it started making me think where am i investing my money on and how is it giving me returns Good that's point. how i started point, yeah. and then obviously i cut down and i started investing a bit more mm-hmm. and then i realized very quickly 
you have to make your money work for you. I think that's the basic principle of success. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Find a way to make your money work for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's actually not complicated. That's all. That's all I work with, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If something is not giving me any returns, mm-hmm. I'm not going to invest in it. And mm-hmm. this cuts across everywhere. If I'm going to make my nails, how are they returning money for mm-hmm. me, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm making my hair like that. I think those are the two biggest lessons. So what I, will you do? Because you'll still make your nails. And right. Make your hair. So... Now for me, yeah. looking good is my brand. Okay. My brand brings clients. So you're investing clients in yourself. Clients bring money. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't associate everything with money, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's a basic principle, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I associate how, and also now I don't, right? I used to do things like consultations for $20 an hour. Now I do courses. So I found a way to maximize on my time and make the most money out of the least amount of time. Um, okay, that's my leverage, yeah. and yeah. that's how now you got into cryptos and all that. So <coughs> you said you're going to invest your money in yeah. crypto so that you can grow, yeah. and now you're leveraging that through your course. Right, but I think I shared this on one of my on one of my stories yeah. where if I want to get to a billion dollars, mm-hmm. I think I have to work for I think it was <laughs> s- some thousand of years. If you're earning, if how I'm much? earning uh, the average ten dollars an hour after, and that's that's, 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 that's possible. possible. <laughs> One million was, I think, 29 years. I remember those numbers. If you're Who earning, has, yeah, if I'm earning without spending a shilling, if you're earning a million dollars, if I'm earning ten dollars an, an hour, hour how many hours tax, a day? Uh, 40 hours a week, so yeah, full okay, time. Okay. Mm-hmm. 80 hours a, ma- a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, sorry, a week. I don't know. 40 hours a week. <laughs> that's hours that's like eight a, hours a, a, a one day. Hours a that's month. eight hours. Yeah, that's the normal hours. Yeah, say. that's the normal one. Mm-hmm. Without spending a shilling on food, rent, it would take me 29 years to get to 1 million. Dollars. Yeah, so who and has time for that? No, 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 no. 10 euros. Right? Yeah. <laughs> still earning 10 euros an hour, which in Kenya... They're taking triple that time. They're taking 60 years to get to 1 million dollars. They'll never get there. They'll never get there. And you still need to spend money, right? So that doubles that amount of time spend half that money mm-hmm. so, then so what's, that's, what's the solution now the solution is to yeah, find something yeah. that <laughs> employment <laughs> <one. laughs> <laughs> actually uh, wait 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 you get to that <laughs> what's the solution okay. now? Yeah. the solution is find something that will multiply your money at the speed that you want to make the that speed money, of light. right which speed how much do you want to make in the next 10 years do you want to get to a million dollars divide that 1 million by yeah. 10 years divide yeah. that by 12 yeah. get what you need to earn in each month yeah. now get that salary of yours and find a way to multiply it to that amount of money per month and then you know it's easy just do the math backward thinking mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. reverse so know the end goal, then work from there. Retrospect. Yeah, know the end goal, then work from there, right? And yeah. you, a lot of people don't even know how much money they want to make. Start mm-hmm. by defining that and mm-hmm. then work backward. And why don't you agree with what you're saying? So I don't agree with that because if you quit your nine to five, where are you getting money to invest from, right? You have to Become be- a businessman. Where, where, where are you getting capital? Start from, from scratch. Yeah, start from scratch. Borrow loans. <laughs> borrow loans. So I'm leaving a nine to five to borrow <laughs> money. Like, I think. I think. So they should work. Uh, like work keep working. Keep working. And start your business. Keep working. Keep learning. Invest. Use those investment returns. Start your business. If mm-hmm. you're a business person, there's so mm-hmm. many millionaires in nine to five. Mm-hmm. It can work for you too. You mm-hmm. know. True. So now, if you're quitting. Now you're starting from zero. Ooh, where are you starting from? You're like someone who doesn't Ask have Caleb. land in Egypt. Caleb the answer to that. It's <laughs> called burning all the ships. No, no, no. <laughs> I actually, actually think that that psychology works uh-huh. very different for different people. Uh-huh. There's someone who'll burn their ships, right? After one month. <laughs> they kill themselves <laughs> after burning yeah. their ships. Burn yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't want to get quite much. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so just uh, come up with your own strategy, right? Yeah, true, true, Dropping true. out is also not for everyone. I am personally going to go into employment, I think. Um, get my, my, you know, I'm interested in my field to get that. But there's someone else who's like, fuck school, I don't care. 
and then they succeed, right? So Talk whatever, to the guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> so every, part, yeah. you know, you can't take someone's journey, and you know, you were passionate about dropping out, or I don't know, <laughs> more or less. You know, I was passionate about leaving Kenya. So take your journey, be passionate about whatever path you want, and then sure. do your thing, man. Okay, so yeah. you believe in the school, the system, all that? Of course not. But mm-hmm. I think uh, just. <laughs> Just wait, 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 wait. Of course not what? Wait, I, I like believe, this topic. I don't, I don't can, believe what? in it at all. Then why are you in it? Why am I in school? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't believe in the system you're in. I believe in what I'm learning, though. And I think the it's the computer future, engineering. Right, yeah. yeah. I don't believe in what they teach us from when we were young. Like what? It makes sense. Right. Like what? Why are we learning parts of an insect? Like, that's my biggest problem. How is that beneficial to me? Mm-hmm. Unless it's for cognitive things, like joining my neurons, my neural... Yeah, it's whatever. for brain development. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For brain they development. They could teach us yeah. something else. Like what? Uh, maybe know. your brain wouldn't fathom that at okay. that age. True. True. Fathom what? What, you, what else you have been taught? Yeah. At I a young like, age, if you're... T- you know, imagine if we all learned, starting from Africa, if we all learned tax systems, if we all learned investment. Those things when actually, we're in high school, right? Okay, in high school, yeah. But right? when you're starting out, when you're young, the reason you're taught about teeth... Uh, and those are basic. But, uh, of course, those ones will be taught. That's you, fine. That's you don't... Fine. You, you can't really... You can't yeah, tax so so your class four. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. I don't even remember. <laughs> What's his <laughs> image? That's cousin. Jamie, what? That's Jamie's cousin. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Isimu Jamie was the one where we were learning about what? Isimu Jamie was. You see, I'm kind of characteristics of it and a wheelie, I'm also social media. Hey, it was such things in Swahili. Hey, guys, I'm going to go up. Swahili is important. That's our culture. That's our roots. Yeah, as long as they can understand how to talk Swahili. I think this is one thing that I've come to conclude. The modern man has the problem of looking for help and looking for something to make meaning out of everything yeah right. some things just you do them because uh you grew up and the system or the society was established like that they mm-hmm. don't really have an intrinsic value in your life mm-hmm. and the fact that you did them does not mean you wasted time mm-hmm. so when you when you think about certain mm-hmm. things also don't just think about the aspect of what value did i get did, from this they gain from mm-hmm. it exactly mm-hmm. you you really have to because you have made for more example, value <laughs> for example, <laughs> for example, <laughs> example yeah. none of you yeah. would yeah. learn to socialize without interacting with people. Of course. But that's a that's that's uh, a need. Even we at need home, that. I used to play around the estate. But yeah. you, you, no, no, no. You relate to your parents in a different way from how you relate to me, from how you relate right. to your sisters, from how mm-hmm. you... So there's some aspect of socializing that mm-hmm. was brought mm-hmm. in you. Yeah, that's, that's fine. By going to school, right? Yeah, that's fine. There's some aspect of, of being able to communicate, to express yourself, to understand people that mm-hmm. you learned mm-hmm. by interacting with groups mm-hmm. of people in school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are not things you can do when you're homeschooling. Yeah, but then, I, but then I'm asking why in high school we were learning parts of an yeah. insect, parts we're not of talking a leaf, about inter- right? Those are basic things that you actually yeah. learn. Yeah. Like no, 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 I'm saying the reason now you're learning yeah. those parts of <laughs> an insect is as you're learning those things, the main reason you're there is to understand these other things. What? Then they can teach us more useful things. Take me to those things. Mm, like right? what? Why am I wasting time yeah, with these things like, so that you like take me there? Like there are people who have specialized in their... Like in look, the industry or in the spaces, since wait, like you are two, wait, three, wait, four. Exactly. Let, me go, let me get okay, back to exactly, Ken. Look, look, look. True. And that's the other you communicate. You guys, you guys are looking for a perfect world which does not exist. No, no, no. no right? No, look, uh, there's look, no way, no, no, first no, no, of all, we can no, identify no, no. at 10 who you are in the direction, no. a legend. Let's not only talk about the successful people who've no. done some things. There are people who, our Kwenda should learn, they're miserable. Look, and the part of the reason they're miserable is the fact that they didn't go to school. But what were they doing? This is the advantage <laughs> of the advantage of school. Something else you're doing. Have you ever asked yourself a question and why why is Africa really third world and why we keep staying behind? Yeah. W- what? There are very many reasons. One there are Give very many. One, one of the most one. important ones, the guys abroad, America, Europe, these guys discover what they really want to do at a young age. And that's what you're saying. Now, me and they I don't think that's one of the reasons why they're ahead of us. It it is. I don't it think is. So. It has to I, be. You think Look, so, okay. but I don't. You if, if we were I, given I, I, a level playing so. field with these people now, mm-hmm. we take a million youth from abroad and a million youth from Kenya. Mm-hmm. Who do you think would be 
I don't want to say that sentence. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Like, who do you think Talk would be thrillers. able to, first of all, be able to survive in this world by monetizing their talents or the even people, knowing the themselves? The Why? People. Why? Because of their system, their culture. But system? that's what he's kind of trying mm-hmm. to say. Yes, system. That oh. there is a way that you, you guys are also. You're forgetting. You you're in Austria, you're in Spain, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. How many people in Austria have dropped out? Let's start there. How many people in the US have dropped out? Yeah. Let's let's but start there. But they know why they're dropping out. That's, that's well. a basic question. Yeah. Like, not it's many true. people in the US have actually dropped out. Yeah, Most people in the US have actually studied. Okay. Going even for MBAs and PhDs. Be- and they they are more educated than us. If you look are, at the population... Of and the- they went deep into it because they discovered what they're going to study early on. Look, Ken, you wasted time from no, your... No, 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 no. You're getting it wrong. You're getting it wrong. Listen, the fact that a certain school system promotes that... Uh, for example, in the US, people yeah. go to campus when they're 16. Right? More or less. Exactly. So according to their culture, according to how they're brought up, it's not the school. Don't blame it's school, school. Let for me, let you, me tell you how your parents and how the people around you behave. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. But if you if you mm-hmm. look at it from that perspective, mm-hmm. uh, like let's say for example, you know, the, the bad thing is there's something called uh, uh, statistical errors mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where you look at only the people who succeeded and you forget them majority of the people like you're just looking at the outliers and you're forgetting all these other people but most of the outliers went to school so i'm not <coughs> just looking at the school system <coughs> and that's what i'm saying mm-hmm. if you look at like how do you raise even the standard of living of a country what's the first thing you do uh, educate me educate people mm-hmm. that's the first thing you do of course in the Can us people are more educated than in kenya in china now more people are educated than in kenya Chinese are producing four engineers to one in the US. I don't think it's okay. also about the education. education. It's education. the quality yeah. of the education, education too. Is that, right? it's it's okay, education. okay, if you're talking yeah. about... Okay. We have the education okay. 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 Can okay. I start okay. with something? Mm-hmm. In Austria, there's actually um, units for crypto, units for investment from the minute we enter university. Uh-huh. There's units for so many things. Now, that's, Real that's, estate, that's, that's a country... Right? Look at Kenya universities. None. It's not that we it's cannot teach that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the thing. What the fuck is that? It's true, it's true, it's true. And, and we learned it in primary school. We learned it in high school. Exactly. And then we're coming back again, HIV and AIDS. What the hell? Okay. Seriously. Okay. Seriously. So, so okay, if, we, if, we are, if we're talking the about changing the, the system, how it's right. designed, and mm. exactly how people learn, let's not decide to abolish the learning system. Let's tell people... Yeah. Uh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 If you're saying, one, no. uh, when you're joining university, instead of being taught certain things mm, like com skills, be taught things like crypto. If I'm going into a course like economics, instead of telling me all these theories, tell mm. me about financial markets, that's right. different. Right. Personal finance. That's actually, different. That's the idea we're trying to Okay, put that's, exactly. okay I'm there with you. I'm there with you. I'm agreeing with you fully. I'm never against education. I'm never against education. And look, there's something about the system that people should know. The system, look, will never change it. Will never. It's like it's mm. like trying to what you what you you, you sort of said it, um, um, leveling the, the playing field. field. So yeah. so it'll, wait wait let me get my point. Wait wait wait. It'll, um, I'm short minded. <laughs> uh, memory is bad. <laughs> my point. The system. We can never change it. It's 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 a feature. It's not it's not a bug. What we are doing. It's not something. The system. What we can need to do for us is understand how it works and go the other way. We'll never oh, change it. You're saying it's a we, picture, not a bag. Mm, but, uh, remove it, try, try changing it. The system, there's no person, what I personally believe in, and something I heard Tom Billy from the discussion and they came to understand it. There's no one person sitting at the top and saying, you know what, let's fucking screw these people. Okay? Okay? There are some people you might think they're saying that, but what they're going to do, they're going to put this system in us and that system is working perfectly. For their agendas. For their agendas. So, now, so... May I'm just asking you a simple question. You're against school, right? System. Exactly. School you're system. against the school system. Exactly. <laughs> Two Why questions. Are you yes. him? <laughs> what are you against the school system mm-hmm. and how would you love it to be changed? If today you are offered a chance to change it, it, it explain to me some of the amendments. Are you guys make. not already doing it? 
Is this no 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 no? Oh, okay, what you're we are, teaching we are, with we forex, are, we are, that's and already crypto. you're in you're infiltrating that system and you're teaching people something different, different. Mm. right? So, so you're already like, like, exactly. <laughs> so so <laughs> your question yeah. is answered by the existence of your school, right? Mm. Okay, the that's, problem that's, is financial knowledge, mm-hmm. and the solution is teaching it. Mm-hmm. One of the main things about the school system that is failing to teach is to able to prepare someone for the real world. Mm-hmm. Many of the same idea. <laughs> Just to add on, uh, mm-hmm. on to your point, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the school system is is not as rib, uh, as liberal for everyone. If you say the school mm-hmm. system is lagging, that's true. Mm-hmm. And most people will, all, majority will always be lagging. There is no yeah, yeah. That's part, what I'm part never, of being an innovator is being able field. to do something before people even realize. Like, okay. yeah. like it's important. Yeah. Like if today you never started, if you never dropped out yeah. and Ugo Malza Shule and me dropped out, right now you'd be my student. <laughs> true or false? <laughs> true. Because <laughs> more or less. I was ahead of you. Like I mm-hmm. took time and invested and I was ahead of you. It's the same way Paul is ahead of exactly. cryptocurrencies like, and all that. So now she's educating people. Exactly. Yeah. So, When you think about some aspects of things like the school lagging, it makes sense because the majority of the people are in school. If all of us are told the minute we walk in, ah, now from today you'll be taught about cryptos. <laughs> Her cost loses value, our business loses value. Mm-hmm. And what happens after that is people will turn to do something else that is not in school and that will now have value. Value comes from scarcity. It doesn't come from anything else. And that's what the I'm saying. The fact that most people are not doing something is what makes it valuable. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. We'll never change the system. It'll never change. Exactly. So It'll if you agree change. with that, that's yeah, perfect. That, that, that's <laughs> my first point. So I'm not looking to change anything. Actually, back, the system is working fine. I'm not coming to change it. I'm coming But to work. But I think work. you can make some changes. Like there are some things you can propose and will help people of course yeah those those things and those, those are the things time, i think you should also come. if as you're promoting Especially, your idea of why school is bad and yeah. why school i think you should <clears> try and move more from why school is bad to how we can improve schools and as we're moving that we go back we go back to polar let's not we always like this we, we, we tend fine. to the important <laughs> on, important on what we are thinking about and all you are creating a course and you have a what you're talking about you you have a course nfts and cryptocurrencies tell right. us tell us about it That's a bit sucks. about Mm. Okay, so my mission is to teach about crypt to help people make money basically from crypto and blockchain assets. Uh-huh. And I didn't want people to go into this thing with no knowledge, right? Mm-hmm. Again, education is important. Mm-hmm. So, I came up with ways to share my experiences and my knowledge, right? Um at more affordable prices that are in than than are in the market, in the market right? Because this crypto knowledge is very scarce and no one wants to share it per se. Even what you get on YouTube is very, mm, shallow. you know, shallow or selective. So yeah, and I started it's also doing vast, courses. You know, YouTube is a whole YouTube. So right. concentrating, yeah. Yeah, so I started courses to teach people how to do it. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't like seeing this, but I have and to say And I really it. like your website. We, Thank we, you. We really <laughs> like it. It it has Thank a good you. interface, looks nice. So you can go. I'll leave a link below, but for those who maybe are listening on the podcast, it's wangaijeru.org. W A N G A I N J E R U.org. Yeah. Thank so you. Take off. Yeah. yeah so you're lost. saying something you don't want I to lost. say something. I lost. Oh. To be honest, yeah. I started this for Africa because I got <clears throat> I I don't like saying that because now I'm international and there's mm-hmm. so many people who learn from me internationally and internationally both Caucasians, Asians, everyone, mm-hmm. right? But for me when I went to Austria, the, I had so much culture shock. Obviously there's a normal culture shock, but you can mm-hmm. imagine it's a German speaking country. I didn't see a Toyota for one year. I was mm, just seeing is. Porsche, Volkswagen, BMW, it wasn't Mercedes. It the, the mind thing. You are, it wasn't. It wasn't I, was, I was even just... shocked the first day. I'm like, okay, what PV? It's like, where is Nini? <laughs> yeah. You know? And then I started interacting with these people. You realize they're building companies. They've been taught investing knowledge. They know how to go into stocks. And I'm thinking... These people are my age. Why am I floating? Why don't I have an idea? And you realize it's going because on? of where you come from. 
No. Unfortunately. <laughs> no. No. I realized the reason they keep remaining rich is because this knowledge is passed down, right? I've told you in university we entered and we were told, you know, there's investment knowledge, there's this you can learn ABC. I can actually do computer engineering, but then I get a like a diploma in something else mm. to do with business. Mm. So I was like, I Okay, so many youth in Kenya want a better life. Mm-hmm. They, did, they didn't choose to be born in a corrupt government. Or they didn't choose to be born in a system like this. So I was like... They didn't even choose to be born. Setting <laughs> 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 off. <laughs> true, yeah. true. So I was just like, okay, let me build this for my yeah. people, right? I think when you go abroad, you re- you really become a Pan-Africanist. You realize this, this politicians, this everyone, Martin. they're not for us, right? So yeah. let's build us. And okay, yeah. I can't build my parents. They're already old i can only invest for them but for Mm. the rest of us we can just learn 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 so that's how i started and yeah so far how many africans have reached out to you you know you could have started with the mission of africans and then you said you have more than 250 students i do now i'm getting to 300 good job good job to to go in the business and we know it's not easy to hit those numbers it's not easy to hit hit those numbers numbers, right Mm -hmm. obviously i use different strategies from everyone else but i really wanted to penetrate people emotionally and share my story and tell them okay this is what i want is that what you do through your instagram yeah so i want them to understand listen this is not a scam this is not anything i'm a normal person like you and this is the path i chose and this is where it brought me Mm -hmm. um so my aim is obviously to collaborate with as many people including binance and other people in africa to just yeah elevate africa Right now, I'm no longer in Kenya anymore, but elevate Africa, Africa yeah. to a whole different level. And we have such brilliant minds in this in this continent. Of we do, yeah. If we tapped into that, mm-hmm. we were literally set up for beautiful success. So yeah. as you're doing that, what's the end goal? What's the end goal yeah. of what? Of that, of the students, yeah, helping them. The thing is, the more you get into this thing, the goals keep shifting and shifting and shifting. So the goalpost is moving. I think for me, it would be to go to, I've tried to start NGOs and things like that, but it would Actually, be... Actually, I saw your website, hazard.org. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah that, that's an so NGO or something. It is. I'm not an NGO though. Okay. But I think I would like to help so many people... <laughs> especially the poor people. Uh, what <laughs> 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 Some so my aim is to start a crypto university of some sort, which is very controversial, yeah. but and to sponsor people, a crypto right? Crypto university. Crypto you blockchain. heard it here first, guys. Yeah. So, guys, here we're focused on education. <laughs> if you're not learning, <laughs> you yeah. don't know what you're doing. You're, you're dying. dying. Yeah. yeah. So, initially, it was to help people make money. Then I'm starting to gain traction. So, I decided, okay, crypto university. And now I have partners in all over Europe who are willing to sponsor. Are these NGOs? No, actually okay. private people, okay, very okay. well-known Investors. people too. Yeah, okay. who've been in crypto for a long time mm. and authors of crypto books, like big people mm. who are mm. now like, Good okay, yeah. how do we sponsor the people who don't have the chance to get this education? Mm-hmm. So if I do start a virtual university, 50% of those spots would be to people who can't afford it. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, because... The minute you you empower the people down there, you've brought the country up, right? True. We can't just keep making the rich richer. It has to be the poor getting richer too. It was, but, 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 <laughs> but, but that will also need you to do a lot of work because <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as a rule of thumb, because yeah. you're trying to help the poor, as a rule of thumb, Poor people invest, middle class, save rich people invest. So what have you said? Hmm? Yeah. Poor people spend, oh. middle class oh. invest, yeah. and the rich invest. So right. you're going to have Nikazi. By the way, by the I'm not going for but older do people, people. Poor people spend? That's why I'm starting with students. They only get enough. The minute I'm getting you to know. If I'm poor, I'm not going to spend. So you're penetrating their young minds. Mm-hmm. It's easier to change. You can never change. So you're targeting the young. The young people, okay, right? And grow with them. And growing with them. And mm-hmm. I'm not planning on only doing crypto. Obviously, I'll come to Forex. I'll come to land stocks, yes. yeah. everything. But with crypto, they 
there's a way you can create an account for someone, lock it, mm -hmm. and actively invest for them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm educating them. Then it'll get to a point where, okay, I've left your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Do as you wish with mm -hmm. it, right? And now from that point, I can't do anything. So you know what doing inheritance? Man, <laughs> but that's a good, yeah, it's a good yeah. mission. It's, yeah. it's a good goal you're having. And I saw um, also on your, your social media. Mm -hmm. We've seen everything through social media. Um, Moonlight. Yeah, Moonlight. Moonlight. What's what's Moonlight Academy? Moonlight School? What Moonlight is Center. Center, yeah. Moonlight yeah. Center. Uh, what's it about and what's your goal there? So I came across Moonlight through the people I went to meet in the Netherlands and Germany, um, and they were helping these poor kids in Kibera or Daguriti mm -hmm. with actually just pads, and uh, these people are orphans, mm -hmm. you know, the parents have been killed, things like that. Mm -hmm. So that was the aim. And then this guy was like, okay, these young people who are so interested in IT mm -hmm. and uh, blockchain and crypto, they've had from places. Mm -hmm. He called, right, he works for Siemens, so he called a friend of his in the States who has a book on blockchain and DeFi mm -hmm. to sponsor them with the books. And I was like, I actually like that idea. Why don't I donate 10 percent of my income mm -hmm. to that school to buy them computers and teach them abc so now as we're and they released an nft collection actually we all did mm -hmm. um so that the the money from that nft collection can go to the school too so oh, the okay. aim is to just help those kids they're kind of also our experiments let's see how this works mm -hmm. before we can progress to other places mm -hmm. um but I went there and it was so sad because you realize these people are so brilliant mm -hmm. and they can do so much. It's just that they don't have the chance to do it, you mm -hmm. know. So, yeah, that's Moonlight. Um, yeah, we're targeting Form 3s now so that by the time they're graduating, they have... Form 3s? Yeah. Okay. They have some money in their bank. Good, good initiative. In Kenya, when you're from three and you try to make money, you're told to focus on reading. That's, you know what? Yes, you see. Don't a business man who high school. That's what I tried. When I tried dropping out in form two. I'm a business man high school. Unsuccessfully, yeah. My parents refused. How? What? In a uh, Kenyan household. That you're can't daring, work. Man. <laughs> so, so that's another question that I'd have. Just digressing a bit from everything yeah, yeah. that you do. Just... Because uh, you've you've traveled around Europe at yeah. least, and you've interacted with young people, many young people. Mm -hmm. uh, we like joking that in Kenya, if you try to look for young people who are yeah. focusing on building startups or understanding yeah. uh, deep subjects, you may find them. Yeah. But I can assure you that a very very tiny percentage. And they keep themselves private. Exactly. They very, don't even yeah. uh, like they don't talk a lot. They they're there. They're there. Mm. They're like people who've developed expertise on different subjects right like they've taken the time what's what's the difference between us and the people in europe that you've met first of all i think these platforms in europe that obviously allow everyone to meet in that space right in my uni there was a startup boot camp mm -hmm. where you, we would go for the boot camp and you would have to learn your strengths, right? Let's say you're in IT, you learn your strengths, you're taught how to build a business. It's literally a crash Shut course, up bootcamp, right? Yeah. So there's, there's so many programs like that. And then there's the, what is it called? The Erasmus, where you go to different countries and you spend an exchange semester there. Mm -hmm. Obviously you're networking. All this time you're picking up, picking up. And there you just ask someone like, are you in business? Are you doing ABC? Obviously you have to know someone who knows that person. Yeah. Otherwise mm -hmm. they wouldn't just open up. I feel like it's much easier to get people who... Networking is easier. Networking is easier and people are more willing to share knowledge mm -hmm. compared to Kenyans. I think in Kenya, the, uh, everyone for themselves and God for us all. There, it's a more socialist government. It's a more socialist society. So it feels like people are willing to kind of pull Cut themselves up. Out. And I'm talking about white people, right? I'm not talking about... The blacks. The well, blacks, yeah. right. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like the environment. I like the incentives. I like how they promote people to build businesses. They pay you to have businesses. They like, you know, they really... Lift you. In Kenya, they kill you. They kill you. <laughs> so will you, will you get back? Will you come back after school? Or no, no, absolutely not. Oh, man, no. Mini, man. 
Absolutely. But don't you feel like that's you should come back? How will you achieve your mission of Africa? If you're not in Africa, we need brains in Africa. No, brain drain. I'm doing more for Africa than people in Africa who are mm. even in my position. If you come, you can do better. You can do 10x. Can do 10X. Yeah, you can 10x. <laughs> you can 10X. I would not be where I am if, if I go. stayed here. That was a stepping stone where you yeah. are now. You can yes. even go stay there for another 10 years, then come back with all that knowledge and experience <laughs> and be ready to share <laughs> exactly. it with people. Right. But oh, I want to tell yeah. I'm still a travel, travel, and I'm a traveler. You can say you're going travel the world. Yeah, <laughs> right. I still have so many countries to visit, so many places to live. So for now, Not that's yet. the goal, relocating between Europe, European countries. Can you be a digital nomad? I am a digital nomad. You actually nomad. are. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. The minute I get a school break I'm out mm. of the mm-hmm. country. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's pretty yeah, I think that much was a very intensive learning experience. experience. Well, so we have learned a lot. <laughs> yeah. Very very extensive. Yeah. Learned a lot. See more to learn. I think we should personalize this conversation more and because I really even How will you build your community like you said earlier on the Kenyan one? You said you you you're, you're building this of entrepreneurs, people who are in this Space. So now I'm working on the crypto community better and then with the and with the entrepreneurial community it's i add you guys you guys tell me guys you know they tell me guys they know and things like that but i don't i don't mean to be rude but i want it to be kind of like the black excellence of jz and whoever yes. so it has to be people who actually have established businesses where yeah. we can exchange with each other we're not testing here mm. we've yeah, gone yeah. into the waters right True. we know how deep they are we know where the sharks are the know, yeah exactly <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then from that, you know, there's so much that could come from that, not only business opportunities, but mm-hmm. we could enrich each other and start sure. this whole, you know, conferences, things like that. I don't know. This mm-hmm. we're 20 what we have so much ahead yeah. of us. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And I think we should all be in top 30 and the 30. Quite. Oh, nice. Where's the book? It's Actually, book. I do want to be in top 30 and the 30. Yes, oh, we all do. The problem is you have to submit your income. <laughs> Nope. Like <laughs> in common net worth. Net, net worth. worth, but then how do you submit your net worth without submitting your assets? And how do you submit your assets well, without your income? Why don't you want to submit that? It's private. Like what what crypto but entrepreneur it's, it's, it's like, do you know who's advertised their net worth? Everyone on Forbes has advertised their net worth more That's or less. That's them. That's them. But they don't have to know everything you have. Like, I think and, for me, and, because I have such an unconventional path. <laughs> Aliko says path, in this book, uh, these guys don't even know how much I have total. He says, work mm. they, yeah, they have and not uh, underestimated. It's, uh, it's not, it's not. Actually, I'm going to say, I'm going to overestimate you. Maybe, maybe, yeah. But <laughs> more or less, actually, more most them of them is underestimated. Most of them are underestimated. Mm. Mm. underestimated. Mm. Yeah, Liko said here, Liko said he's more than what. And yeah, so I'm underestimating us how a whole 16 billion. Because more or less, one or another. Trust me, guys have more money hidden than other than public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, uh, from the web, so I have public. 30 billion ads. I had 16. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, why do you want to know you have 56? Uh, uh, hey. If you think it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Like yeah. right now I'm rich. I'm Trump and say man. Trump and say man. So if I'm in Kona, I have 4 billion. May I have more? Because, <laughs> because <laughs> you you want to be a billionaire. I do. Of I course, do. then you'll have to come But here. But that's show. for me. It's not for sure. Not for the people. Ah. Uh, not for the people. So you don't want to be online, Uku. No, I'll write my own book, my own story in my own words. Okay. Yeah. Private billionaires. Private billionaires. And and as part of your journey by billionaire, Ken, we have a something we we will give you. Cute. Just really? my... I don't have anything for you guys. Uh, the knowledge. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ah, you can't even leave a cosmos. It's not even one forty. Listen, it's two eighty dollars. It's our book. No. Oh, you guys have a book. So we have a book that we wrote. A template for understanding the forex market. Go with it to Vienna, <laughs> Austria, show people. The Kenyans are smart I also. We're writing books. We're Can coming for question, Austria. Though? Yeah. Doesn't the knowledge, is it like um, time sensitive? No. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Concept is a psychology. How much is your book? <laughs> It goes for $15. 
Wow. Only. 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 Actually, yes. only. Yeah, fifteen dollars. So, guys in Austria, you can order through. Fifteen dollars <laughs> <laughs> is only ten euros. So. Yeah. Yes, indeed, yeah. exactly. That's ten less euros. Than an hour of work. <laughs> <laughs> That's less than an hour. True. True. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for coming for yeah, passing by. We know you are tight, but we had to uh, show you to our Kenyan uh, followers. Thank and I'm sure they learn a lot. I'll leave the links to your website yeah, below. And by the way, like if now if I want to enroll to your course, what do I do? Well, no, that's such a good question. Instagram, then my link is there on my on website. your bio. It's a it's a bio. it's a purely online. Uh, yeah. Is it pre-recorded? Is it one on one? Yeah, it's self paced. It's self paced. Self paced. Yeah. So it's pre-recorded. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Good stuff. And you get lifetime access. Yeah. One time payment. Yeah, lifetime one-time access. One time payment. Lifetime access. Yeah. Two hundred and eighty dollars. No, no. The NFT cost is fifty dollars. Fifty dollars yeah. NFT. Yeah. And crypto cost. From uh, thirty dollars to four hundred dollars. Okay. So you're targeting. Why? <laughs> why that big range? Thirty to four hundred. <laughs> Depends on what God speaks. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the quality of the information. <laughs> oh, so there are different yeah. packages. Yeah, there's different packages. Oh, yeah, I, I, I saw it on the on the site. I'll go it, it, them, it, so. it, all, all of them's on the site. Yeah. But I'll yeah, so thank you for coming, Paula. Uh, safe journey back. Thank Hopefully you. we'll see you back. on Sunday. Ah, <clears throat> soon. It's a short time. Exciting. Have you have you gone out? Have you done anything fun so far? I haven't gone out because I don't want to get COVID. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you did the the normal the yeah. giraffe scent. Oh, uh, come on, <laughs> <laughs> the lions that you weren't the able lions, to feed. I fed them. I fed them. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, Kenya is a good place. So yeah. as you go, think of us. Come back. Come back to Kenya. Help yeah, Kenya. So why don't you guys come to? Ah, also, as we are travel, we, we are, are pro Africanist. <laughs> 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 uh, we're also traveling a lot we like yeah. traveling so of course we'll yeah. come we'll do a europe tour one yeah, true, day true, true. hopefully mm. we're we're we doing a lot in 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 africa right now so we're doing the we'll start traveling tanzania uganda F- in, that's business stuff in terms right. of business and also more south africa because Zim- we have clients from zimbabwe and all that so we'll target that first then slowly we'll come we'll come because one thing we really admire about abroad and america we look up to the guys silicon valley and all that how they run their business how they run their professionalism which is quite quite way ahead of what we do here in africa so we'll come so yeah. sooner or later but anyway i think g- before before we close yeah. i have one last question for the audience shoot. also may have one more thing it's a game <laughs> though it's a game but okay. finish it uh, so mine is a question i want to buy a coin you have which something. coin you have something. any this coin side, side. any coin okay. yeah i just want to buy a bitcoin mm-hmm. a bitcoin no 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 a, a crypto coin. a crypto a crypto, okay. <laughs> a crypto coin give me a recommendation and why would you give what? Yeah, just give me a tip yeah, you see i have to assess so many things your risk tolerance Can you know, how much money i don't want dipster i want dipster i mean you can never go wrong with solana ethereum those top 10 coins you can never go wrong with them Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm a portfolio. Okay. I'm gonna I'm a risk manager. Okay. <laughs> How do you assess your risks? How do you mitigate them and when uh, do camera? you know? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and when do you know when to come out? Because that is in buying is sour. <laughs> It's easy. Yes. You yeah. can't and buy without me, defining your everything risk. Everything can go to zero if oil yeah. went to zero. <laughs> so, <laughs> if oil went to zero. Oil. Oh, oil. Okay, okay. Let's say today Bitcoin starts going down. Right. 44 goes, 34 24, 24 14, 14 10. <laughs> 10. Where do you come out? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean you have to have stop do, losses. Yeah. Oh, so you so have to have stop losses. Okay. So, so any you any any, 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 any. I saw you also dollar cost average. I so do. as it goes down you dollar cost. <laughs> dollar it goes down again. No, when it's going down you're buying, right? You're uh-huh. not selling. Yeah, you're buying more. Yeah. So you're yeah. buying more and the market is going down. Me I mean I bought oil when it was 28. I lost money. <laughs> $28. <laughs> Twenty dollars and twenty yeah, zero. Twenty zero. He thought twenty exactly. was under one. Was good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like, hey, in almost forty years, I was like, this is the best bet. Yeah, yeah. And I put actually not just one bullet, four bullets. <laughs> actually, now that's the problem. Why didn't you buy one bullet? Wait for sixteen, two bullets. It's those things. It's those. He never players. knew. The market yeah, was twenty eight. Was the bottom. Hey, you can never bridge. know the bottom. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you guys yeah, should but, know that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so, we learned, so we learned that. Uh, for, every, learned. So for every dollar cost average, you have a, it, 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 it's on stop loss. Right. Oh, makes sense. Like good stuff, good stuff. Because mm. okay. most people, like, that is a problem with, with uh, we've always been talking about it in terms of crypto. We have friends who are just buying it. But when it comes to selling, okay, that's how you make some money. Not so hard. Margins are very deep. Last month, we were at 300%. They made it 150. You have to lose money. You have to lose money. Uh, exactly. have, have you lost a lot? A lot of money. Well, you're learning. No, when I thought I knew everything, you know. Uh, but you're still learning what you're doing. That's what I mean. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course, yeah, it's always a learning journey. It is. Yeah. Okay, as yeah. we end, you said you're a risk taker. Yeah. Uh uh I want to put a bet on the table. What bet? We play just quickly three rounds of rock paper scissors. If I win, uh. <laughs> if I lose, oh, you, you no, didn't wait, even let's start. Yeah. You win. Yeah, if I lose, that means if you win, I'll give you access to my online course and if you if i win you give me access to yours my nft one yes okay cool yes scammed <laughs> <laughs> cool no cheating no cheating how you cheat rock paper scissors go go araka araka go go a rock paper scissors go start when i say oh. go australian different <laughs> okay australian no, no. again and different it's on the table yeah, yeah, yeah. okay So, so you saying what rock paper scissors go from a show rock whatever rock paper scissors go okay sir okay we go okay. you, you, you say it okay rock paper scissors go rock so wait 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 if you are draw <laughs> remember three rounds okay cool so now we have three more rounds okay okay, okay we go three or two two no if we draw. two and we draw this now how, how will you know a winner the draw is zero so we need You get my point. No. But I can ah, still go, win go, with the next two. Yeah, no, okay, no, okay. Okay. So, so we have two more rounds. <laughs> okay. That is okay. calm out. Plan we have to go good. Shut up. Wait, I have to focus. Wait, okay, 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 focus, bro. Get in my mind. <laughs> we go. Okay. Fine. Stop. <laughs> men should not lose, man. Okay, okay. okay. It's okay. Sadu oh. <laughs> 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 na NFT. Karibu wala. Ah, it is what it is. Ah, it is what it is. Your prediction. Well, I love it for you an account. Thank you. <laughs> so as you have to buy yours. Yeah, you can $50. Dollars. Ah, 50 $50. Uh, That's zero. No, 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 you, no, 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 you can join my WhatsApp. That's what I'll That's get. all I get. That's it. content like every morning we post on there just like you guys mm-hmm. i love for as we close as we close just in the morning i was showing ken the the the, the, the couple which, which couple? The couple who stole 76 million dollars in bitcoin in, from bitfinex Bit, in 2018 Bitfinex. Or the one who the, the woman was caught, caught. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with now 4.6 billion dollars what right you what uh did you know about the couple did you like uh how how did you know about the woman john was dancing on tiktok yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the crocodile of wall street Mm-hmm. But I didn't I didn't I may only know about uh, I forgot the name of that exchange that was robbed Bitfinex, Bitfinex. Not Bitfinex. Not Bitfinex. Um Mount Gox. Yeah, Mount Gox was Gox. was, was Fungua so Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the only one I remember. It was huge, but anyway. Anyway, guys have lost today it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> as you can see she's a winner. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. so yeah, so thanks for coming, Paula. I think we are done, thank boys, you. yeah. Yeah, thank you so uh, much for coming for, today. for sharing the knowledge for free to the people on our YouTube. You're you can welcome. also put, do you have a YouTube channel? No, it's unlisted, private. Listed, listed. No. <laughs> It has course. content. It's for my course, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, cool then. So, also cool. then, thanks for coming. As we You're said, welcome. safe journey back. Thank <clears> you, thank and you. And we'll hopefully see you soon. So That's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. I'm sure you did and hopefully Paula will be here soon or later. Sometimes we also do we can do online yeah Dagi. We can do online ones yeah. Yeah so yeah. we will we will know but mm-hmm. yeah. Thanks for coming and we'll see you guys soon in the next episode. Peace. Bye bye.